Hi guys, welcome to another iOS development tutorial. We are continuing our table view optimization series. So in this particular tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can change the background color of a cell or a row in a UI table view. So what we've got on screen, of course, in the simulator is a pretty basic table view. This is just right out of the box. The only thing I've done in terms of customization here, of course, is I've got two particular rows set um, to a certain text, and I'm doing that pretty simply through our, I'm going to stop the application here, but I'm doing that pretty simply through our, um, through an NS array, which has essentially two NS string values, um, you know, one says Wi-Fi, one says power outlets, and then we've got the standard uh, table view data source code um, methods here that um, are essentially required for you to be able to display a table view. Now if you've not worked with these before of course uh, be sure to take a look at my creating a simple table view tutorial. Right so let's get started. So the way we actually go about changing the look and feel of a simple table view is we have to implement a method that is available to us within the table view delegate. And even before we take a look at that method, of course, you're going to need to create uh, a couple graphics that we're going to then use within our table view. So I've already created these graphics. I've got um, an orange gradient that I'm going to be using, and you'll notice that it's just a you know a simple little graphic. And then I've got a blue gradient that I'm going to use, which is really a true gradient. The orange one is almost like a solid color. But anyway, these are the two files that we're going to be working with. I've got a couple others that I've already imported. Um, into my project and if you don't know how to do that um, here's a quick example I'll actually delete this um, most of these here let's see we can uh, let me delete these top two and I'm just gonna reimport them so to, to import a resource into your project you right click the project folder and just say add files to table view and I'm going to bring in the one called orange gradient and you can of course use your favorite image editing software whether that's fireworks Photoshop or um, anything else uh, and create these so what I've got here of course is a non retina display sized image and what that means is basically I've got an image whose height is 44 pixels and width is 320 pixels now if you're using a retina di uh, display image or if you want to provide a value that is used for retina display you have to just have to essentially just double that value so my row height is uh, our cell height is 44 pixels and so that's what this is set to alright so now let's work on um, actually taking a look at what this method is that we have to implement so the method we're going to implement is like I said a delegate method property so if we click on if we switch to our view controllers header file and then just put our cursor over this text that says UI table view delegate you'll notice that within our quick help cell quick help section we get a reference to the UI table view delegate protocol reference so I'm gonna click that and that's gonna open up organizer and I can then take a look at the reference so let's scroll down here the method we're actually looking for is this one it's called table view colon will display cell colon for row at index path so let's click on that and take a look at what it says so you'll see that as far as the discussion goes it says that this sends this message to its delegate so essentially a table view will call this particular method before it uses cell to draw a row and the reason it does that is so that we can customize the cell object before it is displayed so that's why we want to implement this particular method so let's let's go ahead and copy the method signature just do command C to copy and then we'll jump back into our view controllers implementation file and I'll just paste it in here towards the end right after our um, two table view data source methods right so we do that this method doesn't return anything so let's do a command s just to make sure we've saved stuff right so what we need to do within this method of course is a couple different items one we're gonna need to create a couple UI images so let's just create our UI images and the reason we're gonna do this of course is so that we can use those images UI images uh, within um, our code for these particular cells or rows so we say UI image and we will call this image let's just say default background we'll call it our default BG there we go and then we'll say UI image image named and then we just have to give it the name of the file which in our case is going to be so I think our default is blue gradient so we will give it the file name blue gradient dot PNG there we go and we'll get a warning here in a second because we haven't used this and then we do the same thing again we say UI image 
same type here and we'll call this one selected background maybe and that'll make it fairly obvious what that is so we say so UI image image name same exact code this time we set it to the orange background or orange gradient file so you gotta make sure this is spelled exactly the same PNG command S to save okay so we've got two warnings no problem that's simply because we haven't used it now what we actually have to do is we have to now create a UI image view so let's create a UI image view and I am going to say UI image view type we'll call this one default BG views to kind of keep that in line and then we'll say UI image view whoop do an alloc on it to get that and then we can say in it with image and then what it takes, what that method actually takes is a UI image and guess what we can just use our default back BG UI image. Great. Command us to save and there we go. And we get a we get a couple warnings uh, here of course because we have not um, used this particular UI image and we've not used this new UI image view we've created and that's no problem. So what we'll need to do here is now set that value Okay, so what we can do is we can say cell dot background view is equal to this UI image view that we just created, which we'll call default BG view. Now we can certainly run our code at this point, but I will tell you that we're going to run into an issue, and I'll show you exactly what. So let me hit Command R to run this, and we get a warning. That's no problem. We just not use that. We'll use it in a second. Aha. So here's our problem. We've got sort of this white area here, and then we're seeing the uh, the background view appearing at the edges. That's because this central area is using a white background and essentially preventing us from seeing the entire cell's background. So the way we fix this is let me hit stop, and we have to add an ad an additional line of code. So what we do what we do here is we say cell dot background color is equal to we call the clear color method and command us to save let's run it one more time and again we get that warning because we haven't used that yet but this time you see that we get our nice blue gradient um, appearing so now you of course you see that uh, we get the gradient no problem when I select this particular row it comes up in blue which is sort of the default value that uh, you can, or it's like the default sort of selection style, if you want to call it that. And we can actually change that to you to be something else. So um, out of the box, we actually have three different selection styles that we can use. Uh, there's a gray, a blue, and a none. So say you wanted an application where you didn't really want the user to be able to select this, then what you can do is you can say, let's change the. background for the selected view and the way we do is that we say cell dot selected whoop that's errors when I'm typing that cell dot selection style and, just, and then we set that value or set that to UI table view typing here selection UI table view whoop cell selection and here we go you'll see that there's a couple different ones in fact there's four there's blue which is the default we can set this to or I'm sorry there's three we can set this to none set that there do a command R to run and we'll rebuild and rerun this application and this time you'll see that when I tap on a row it doesn't change the color so this might be useful when you're building a user interface where you don't want that to change 
I'll go ahead and stop this. I can change this to gray and run it again. Whoop. Failed it because of my fine typing skills. All right, we'll change that to gray. Command S and Command R, no more errors. Uh, just one warning. And this time, you notice that it changes to gray. So the blue and the gray and none are, of course, the out-of-the-box options that you've got in terms of changing this. But you may want to do something a little bit more fancy where you may actually want to change it so that it's either maybe a lighter or darker color of, um, than your uh, default background color. And the way you do that is we've actually already written some of the code for it. So we can go ahead and finish implementing that up we can get rid of this line of code and you remember this warning that we kept getting well we're gonna now use that particular uh, we'll, we'll put this into use so first thing of course that we want to do is we have to create a uh, a new UI image view so I'm gonna cheat and just copy this do a command C and a command V to paste and I'm gonna change these values and we'll change it to we'll call it selected BG view and we'll initialize it with selected BG and of course we still get a warning here now uh, simply because we haven't used this but now we can come back here and change this value so we can say cell dot selected background view and we can set the selected background view to our new selected BG view do a command s to save we don't get any warnings or errors anymore command R to run and this time you'll notice that we get our custom color when I select that particular row. So we have that nice orange gradient that we imported earlier and now we can set that up to where um, that's what appears. So I hope this was helpful. Again, like I said, another step in terms of customizing the table views and um, hope you guys can make use of this in your applications. Thanks for watching.